All right, hello everybody, welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. So if you're anything like me, there's one single question that has kept you up at night for the better part of your life, and that's probably, what if planets had their own battle royale? I know, I also get PTSD every time I think about it, the, the sleepless nights, the unfulfilled Christmas, all because of this one single question. Well, boys, I'm here to open your third eye, all right? I am gonna launch you guys into the upper echelons of, uh, I don't know, the, the holes of knowledge up there with Ty Lopez and all the other great thinkers of our time. And uh, we're gonna create our own battle royale. So I know it's a problem that no one has, but that's what we do here. All right, so let's jump right in. All right, so this right here is our solar system. I know you're familiar with it. It's boring, it's predictable, but I'm gonna show you guys this solar system expressed in a different way, just a different layout here, all right? Here we have the solar system planet comparison. Now, if you were to try to calculate or predict which of these planets would win in a battle royale? I think it would be uh, very obvious that um, Uranus would be in, in deep trouble, all right? However, Jupiter would be probably successful in that endeavor. And uh, uh, you know what? You're, that would be a safe bet. Now, this is a simple comparison. And uh, in this scenario here, we have uh, essentially reduced uh, the gravitational pull of all objects and the universe to zero. If you go back to one, however, if you go back to one, this is the like the universal gravitational standard in this game. So one is like the base for every sort of like force that is based around gravity in this game. So yeah, you, you don't need to be a genius to predict what's gonna happen here, all right? So the first thing that I'm noticing here is that obviously Jupiter's rings are gonna, um, are gonna create a lot of damage to these guys, but uh, obviously the main attraction here is gonna be this big dude right here, Jupiter, right? That is, that is a big boy right there. There's one that's still kind of like holding on to its name here. As long as they have a tag, that means that they still have sort of like a body, like a main mass, right? So yeah, definitely Jupiter would win in this scenario. And, but this is just for the solar system. You know, you don't need to be you don't need to be Ty Lopez to, to predict this, right? So that's why we're gonna go with giant planets, giant exoplanets, because that's a lot more fun. And this is what I'm talking about. Look at all these planets, giant exoplanets, all right? So these are planets that are, I think, outside of our solar system, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know how many planets we have. It's definitely not gonna be a traditional 100 versus 100 battle royale, but um, it's gonna get close. <sighs> Man, I can't be bothered to count these. Anyway, let's just make this a little bit more exciting here. And yeah, that background is a lot better. So we do have, these are real planets, by the way. So we do have the tags here with all the names. That's gonna make it easier for us to identify you know, who is in the lead and all that stuff. Maybe we'll get sponsored by G Fuel. Maybe we can sell some gamer gamer planet uh, bathwater. Who knows? So how are we going to determine who's going to win this battle royale? Well, we have different sort of like categories here. So you can see sort of like a color scheme based around different stats. So velocity is one. Acceleration is another one. Obviously, at this point, nothing's happening here because gravity is zero and uh the the simulation is paused so galaxy brain right here but here we have the mass category so as you guys can see red means big big all right obviously we have different grids like different categories these guys right here are obviously bigger so you would predict that uh these guys would win right but the problem is that these guys are also going up against an another set of big guys right these are like characters from Lord of the Rings or something. Are these real? I'm pretty sure they are, right? Those are some interesting names right there. It's like a Game of Thrones cast. Now, once we enable the gravity here, which is currently at zero, these guys are gonna start moving. And then, and then we'll be able to use the velocity and acceleration colors here because I guess that, I don't know, let's just hit play, whatever. <laughs> no one cares. The simulation can't run any faster with current settings. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, 3 FPS battle right here. <laughs> this is truly a thrilling experience. 
All right, look at that. Awesome. At least it's not a total fail. All right, I had to lower the settings here because uh, this is really messing with my FPS here. But hopefully um, this thrilling uh, gameplay right here is going to make up for it. Look at that. <laughs> Listen, I know the frame rate is not ideal, but we're trying to answer a question that has kept scientists awake for decades at this point. So I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> we're going to have constraints. It happens. All right, I think at this point we can stop it and uh, start analyzing the results here. I think it's clear that based on the trails here, probably this planet right here seems to be winning this battle. Either that one or this one right here. This one is 1.29 times Jupiter. This one is 1.93 times Jupiter. So this one is clearly bigger or at, le or at least has like more mass, I guess. I think it's funny because these planets right here seem to be affected more so by these row rather than these planets. And I think that's going to affect the result because the mass of these planets is going to be added to these guys rather than these guys. So it's hard to tell who's going to win at this point. Oh, what the f what the hell is this? This thing is gigantic. What the hell? All right, let's try to analyze this from a velocity perspective here. So I'm pretty sure green means it's moving faster and a dark blue means it's sitting still. So for what I can tell here, it seems like these at the edge are moving towards the center, which actually makes sense. But then I guess, yeah, look at that. Let's try acceleration here. Acceleration, uh, okay, there's not a lot going on here. I'm guessing maybe smaller planets are gonna have more acceleration. I'm not sure how gravity works. This planet that is bigger here at the edge. Oh, look at that. They're merging together. So it's kind of unpredictable in a way. Some of these smaller planets are merging before attacking the bigger dudes. Look at that. Oh my god, who is this red dude? This guy's moving at a super high speed. He's just getting yeeted out of there. And his trajectory is out of the grid. He's just gone. He's like, frick this, I'm out. That's a big explosion right there. What is this amorphous mass? What is happening here? This guy's gonna win. I'm pretty sure this is not the original one that we thought was gonna win. This is a different one. Oh, he suddenly got smaller for some reason. Give it some acceleration here. Oh my god. Jesus, this is madness. All right, let's look at the mass. I think the mass is going to be the determining factor here. So Turnus seems to be the winner. Yeah, this guy's going to be the winner. There's only one winner here. Let's increase the speed a little bit. Oh no, the tables have turned. Now this guy's the winner. 1.39 times Jupiter. Well, look at that. He was just going around, absorbing more mass. And now he's the winner. So we have a winner for the giant exoplanets. I think we should try this with another category, right? Let's try this with a different category here. Big stars. I like the big stars category. This is going to be hard to look at, by the way. Our second battle royale session here. This time with big, big stars. I think what we're going to have to do here is change the view to size. Now, I think it's obvious that one of these is going to win because obviously they are the biggest ones. This guy is 10 times the size of the sun. All of these are 10 times the size of the sun. What? Oh my god. Some of them. Oh boy. Yeah, you know what? I didn't think of this. I didn't think that supernovas would actually happen. I, I forgot about them for some reason. I, I should have taken that into account and I know now that I made a mistake but yeah supernovas were definitely gonna happen here of course it's kind of hard to tell what's happening here just multiple just multiple supernovas yep this is killing my computer for sure all right I know it's hard to tell because my computer is dying and I'll probably have to buy another one just because I'm recording this video but the battle royale is still going even if it's uh, at 6 fps at this point well, this battle royale has had some catastrophic results. I think we have a winner and it's uh, this star right here. But oh my God, I can't even appreciate it. I can't move the camera. <laughs> the lag is insane. My computer is making the weirdest sounds. It's like a dog dying inside of a garbage disposal. I think so far this is the winner.
It does have a name. Oh no! Oh no! It just exploded! <laughs> It became a supernova as well. All right, so I strongly believe that my game crashed. So I think we're gonna have to determine this based on the mass. So this one, which has a very Hawaiian name, has 1.1 times the mass of the sun. So that's one. The other one would be this one, Vidcon. It's only one times the mass of the sun. So that means the Hawaiian name star wins. All right, that is amazing. <laughs> I nearly destroyed my computer for this. Great. Anyway, boys, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.